Whew. Okay guys, so now I'm in the garage. I packed my tools and to sum up the things what I've done today, I've I removed the valve cover from that white CX-5 and checked for the buildup inside the valve cover, sorry, inside the cylinder head, which there is, so I'll need to let the owner know about the situation and we decide how to fix it, how to fix it. Obviously it's not a difficult fix, like I've done it before. Camshaft needs to be removed, uh, rocker arms, uh, hydraulic lifters, cleaned it from inside. But I will suggest him to remove the oil pan and get that one cleaned as well. We'll see anyways. The second one I've done is the Mazda 6. I prepared that for timing chain replacement for tomorrow. So I, I removed bits from up top for from the valve cover area. I didn't remove the valve cover. I still let it on because I'll remove it tomorrow. It's, I just, it's just held by maybe one more bolt and a few studs. So I removed the injectors and then remove the studs. Um, remove the ECU of it and remove the oil pan but I put back and secure it with two bolts so it's covered overnight that was it so yeah the plan for tomorrow is to change the timing chain on the Mazda and bleed the brakes on the Peugeot and take it for a test drive the Peugeot and then if I'm happy I can swap the turbo housing and let the owner know that the car is ready Another like a side story side quest. Uh, so I only have four cars here with me at the moment, which are with me for a long time. So that's my brother's Audi, which is here from last year, August, I guess. It's quite long. The Peugeot, which is here for two, three months now. The Mazda 6, which is here from November, mid-November. So it's two months now. And uh, the CX-5, which is here from roughly from the same time, two months now, from November. So I need to get them done. And I, I think I will be able to do the timing chain on the Mazda this week, definitely. Uh, and then I can return it to, to the owner. I would have already returned it, but I noticed that ticking or like clunking or rattling noise from underneath. So I had to fix it. I can't return it in this condition because something may happen and you know we don't want that um, and yeah a Peugeot will be fixed or put back together soon or it's already put back together it will be fixed soon uh, and I can return it to the owner and I will have one more space where to fix cars and also like for this week I only have um, cars booked in for the weekend two of them one is for carbon cleaning and the second one is for carbon cleaning. The guy had already dropped the car off a few days ago and I had done just like initial diagnosis with him when he was present and we found a lot more issues with it and uh, it will need a lot more work. So I don't exactly know when I will start it. Probably I'll, I'll clean, the first, the, clean the other one first and I'll start working on his one because he will need a lot more job or work to be carried on on his car. Um, but yeah, so yeah, bear with me because even though like when you bring your car to me and there may happen very likely or like oftentimes it happens that when you bring down the car other issues appear or things don't go, go as smooth as they, they should and the car is stuck with me or like the last time the guy was here with his um, Vauxhall Grandland I needed to get the timing well done on his one I've done it and when I was putting back I couldn't couldn't uh, tighten down the bolt because the crankshaft was spinning because on his flywheel I don't know why usually there should be a hole for the locking tool to the flywheel but on his one there was like a slot so it had like a little place and play and when I was tightening down the crankshaft bolt it put tension on the on the tensioner and I always like skipped teeth on the crankshaft uh, sprocket and that's that way the tensioner always got loose I couldn't tighten it down properly I needed to buy this tool let me show you so I needed to buy this tool to hold against the, the crankshaft pulley and then I was able to tighten it down so it was it's supposed to be a one day job, so same day return, but it ended up being, uh, I think, so I ordered the tool, it came the next day, and then I started on third, so it, it took me three days, it's supposed to be a same day return job. 
so always so something comes up so and you know like it's then i'm stressed because i'm only a one-man operation what that means so i do the work i sometimes i have like helpers who who help me but they don't know what to do so i tell them what to do but they don't really know how to do it so i just i have to like supervise them or they just giving me tools handing me tools over when i'm underneath the car or working they are a great help don't get me wrong but i cannot tell them do this and it, it will be done the way I want it to get it done and I don't need to check on them so that's one thing so I'm one man, one man operation I do I carry out the job on my own I have I recording the jobs very likely or very usually and then I edit the videos that's another thing it takes ages um, I'm ordering the parts texting with messaging with clients so it takes it's it's too much for one person I would say so yeah please bear with me if if your car is here with me i'm trying to do my best to get it sorted as soon as i can but it takes time so in the future i'll need to to make like a better plan or a better planning or management or schedules or whatever to to allow myself time because i don't have a day off yesterday i had because of the bad, bad weather and also like i work underneath the, the sky only so sometimes i have the tent set up when it's that bad or raining but usually if it's windy if it's sunny if it's if it's chill yesterday i work outside and i don't really want to get sick because if i uh, sick i can't work so yeah it's not that easy um but yeah enough from the complaining or the rent um, that was the today's job the plan you heard it already what what what, what will happen uh, I really want to get the timing chain put back on the car and at least like a uh, seal with the silicone the the oil pan so that can cure or dry and I can put back the rest the second day it's not that big of a job I just want to get done the timing chain and the oil pan and uh, bleed the Peugeot and take it for a test drive so yeah thank you guys for watching if you like the video give it a like subscribe to the channel or join my membership uh, leave a super thanks or share the video to help someone else or if you know someone else with similar situation or like with i have other videos about very like i have a lot of about these mazdas so share share it uh, with, with your friends and yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one take care and bye bye